or Angara Akshata Cosmetics. The information to be furnished in the serialized writing requires frequent interaction with many, from the common man to the exalted pontiff. At times, if any problem defies solution, I indicate that after further study and analysis, the matter will be dealt with in another volume, seldom presenting things superficially known to me. Some have asked why I should labor so hard to furnish various other matters in a writing on Sri Raghavendra that should confine itself only to acquainting the readers with the mysterious deeds of the saint and his spiritual exaltation probably to cover up their own ignorance of things. It is my desire that the devout ones should be enlightened on matters that would lead them to understand about the extraordinary spiritual powers of Sri Raghavendra and experience themselves his grace radiating therefrom through the mysterious occurrences that he may cause to happen in their life. It is for this reason I am providing information on other related matters too, so that the devotees of the saint could, apart from worshipping him, mould themselves to the state of deserving his grace. The marking of religious namas is one of the desiderata that will cause immense benefits if adhered to properly before worship. Once, when I was in Malaysia for delivering lectures, I found some people sporting namas and angara, akshita marks, early in the morning and going around a temple. It should be nothing surprising on a Dwadashi day or during the Danur Masa, but it was a regular practice indulged in by them on all days, including the Egadashi day, that too with the prominent akshita marking. I could only pity them for their ignorance. But at the same time, not being happy with that, I asked a person, Why are you sporting such marks, please? Sir, this is an outward manifestation of my reference towards my Guru. And wearing the religious marks in the same manner, I find them on the person of Sri Raghavendra Guru. You have marked the Namas all over your body. There is of course nothing wrong in that. But do you know what the black marking you have streaked at the center of the Nama on the forehead is called? And so too, how the circular mark placed below that is identified as? Do you know why they are applied? I am not aware of all those. But since they are conspicuous in the Guru's picture, I am also marking those. Is it improper, sir? Was the innocent response. Will you be attending my lecture this evening, please? I have come on for that only from a long distance. But sir, why are you not sporting the black streak and the small circular mark on your forehead? He asked, grieving me about his ignorance. It's only after Naivedya, the offering of food to the deity that they should be applied. I shall explain that in the evening. In that case, shall I rub them off? He asked hastily. Don't do that. But from tomorrow, before applying them, think well. I said and he then took leave of me. There are many who understand things like this and correct themselves. I, however, came across a different type of person in Malaysia in August 2010, a selfish one who always thought of riding on the back of others to get a name for himself. To expose his deceit to the outside world, I had to enact a drama. And at the end of this writing, I shall make revelations about him. That evening, during my talk, I explained at length about Angara and Akshata. Angara is a line that is marked with a charcoal piece in the center of the Gopi Chandana Nama already applied on the forehead. The charcoal bit is to be used for the marking is not the ordinary domestic charcoal but a burnt remnant of the firewood piece used for showing the incense of the Sambrani, a fragrant benzoin gum, to the Lord in worship of him. Such bits of charcoal are generally kept stored for usage later. Sri Vyasaraja, the earlier avatara of Sri Raghavendra, had, through an angara, installed the Yantrodharaka Hanuman in Hampi. Just as Sri Akshobhya Tirtha had installed Sri Narasimha in Mulbagal with an Angara on a rock there, detailed in parts 3 and 4. 
the circular mark placed a little above the center of the eyebrows and below the angara is called akshata and the substance used for the akshata also requires special preparation the petal like outer covering of the plant and flower is dried up and burnt and the ash from it is mixed with turmeric in moist condition and such blend is called akshata which can be prepared at home though it is available in some puja materials emporia those unacquainted with the religious procedures apply angara akshata along with the marking of the namas which is highly improper in fact they are to be applied only after the naivedya and before partaking of it on the ekadashi day and certain other fasting days too there will be procedural changes in this puja can be done with dwadash namas on ekadashi day but though there will be no naivedya for shri guru raja that day the offering of naivedya to the lord cannot be ignored as explained in part 4 for that edibles like dry grapes and sugar candy can be offered to the deity and kept for consumption on the next day in the morning itself during the puja the angara black streak can be marked on the forehead the akshata mark should definitely be not applied on ekadashi day if someone is sporting nama with angara mark in the morning itself it could be construed as being the ekadashi day Gopi Chandana Angara Nakshata are certainly not cosmetics without being aware of their religious importance and glory or spending time to acquire knowledge about them it requires lot of guts to present before the public a serial on the life history of Sri Raghavendra yes in january 2010 two persons had come to my showroom opposite Sri Raghavendra Mart in triplicate chennai my wife was in the shop then after getting telephonic information from her i went and met them there they asked me about books on sri raghavendra and bought all the seven parts of sri raghavendra mahimai and also sri raghavendra vijayam they told me that they were from a tv channel and were intent on making a tv serial on sri raghavendra i asked them when are you shooting it is everything ready for it can you give suggestions and clarify doubts they asked for several years many staunch devotees of sri raghavendra had placed before me that a serial on the saint must be produced and whether i could write the script for that but it appears that the time for it was not ripe then with this backdrop i told the duo yes if it is counseling i can do that can you come tomorrow itself tonight i have to go out of station it will suit me only after a week but we have to start the picture shooting without delay the two had come without intimation and it could not be known whether they had really come with the idea of meeting me yes i told them that if they could contact me on my return to chennai i would be in a position to comply with their request then they however came on another day without prior information and it was only by chance i was in chennai at that time they raised some questions like sri raghavendra having had three lines on his neck in his neck at the time of his birth and what it signified i thought at that time that they were going deep into the various aspects concerning sri raghavendra for the production of their tv serial some months passed after that meeting during which time i was too busy with my work relating to writing and publication one day i suddenly got a call from a person acting in that serial in the role of the one who had given who has given sri raghavendra to us informing that he would like to meet me and was desirous of giving a donation for sri raghavendra granthalaya another day he asked whether the swamis were the sacred thread i answered in the negative and he said it seems the vaishnavites wear it and that is what the people here tell i clarified generally the ascetics do not wear it but i can say with certainty that the madhva sanyasis do not wear it i could make out then that there was some confusion in his mind about that aspect later he called on me with his wife one day to hand over as his contribution for sri raghavendra granthalaya 
the advanced money he had received for donning a role in that serial asking me to view the telecast and tender my opinion about it of course i agreed to comply with his request